Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna randomly call out a string number and you're gonna play me that string. Remember, smaller the string, smaller the number, larger the string, larger the number. And I'm gonna mix it up. Number five. One. Six. Three. Two. Four. Very good. Other than number names, your strings will also have letter names. And this is a little bit more complicated because the letters do not go in order. Like you learn your ABCs in a certain order. Well, that's not the same order as your guitar strings. Uh, there's a lot of mnemonic devices that you can use to help you memorize the order of the strings. The, the one that I always use is Easter Bunny Gets Dumped After Easter. Okay. And you always want to start from number one to six with that one, okay? Number one through six. So Easter is E. Play me the E. B for bunny. G gets dumped. Dumped is D. Yeah. After Easter, E. Did you notice that there's two E strings? Yeah. Yeah, your first string and your sixth string are both E. That can be a little bit confusing. If I said play your E string, well, which one, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where the number system might have a little bit of an advantage. It's very clear and very easy to memorize, mm -hmm. but you still need to know your letter names as well. The metal bars that run vertically, what are they called? Um, like frets? They are called frets. Very good. They're called frets and they're numbered. So that's actually pretty easy. The fret that's closest to your headstock, which is where your tuner pegs are, that's fret number one. And fret number two moves closer to the body. Fret number three, even closer. And you're climbing up the neck towards your body. And that is up. I've had some students try to argue with me that they're going down when they move towards their body. No, you're not. You're moving up. And the way we know this is because the pitches of the notes are moving up. They're getting higher and higher. So that is the up direction. I think they get confused because their guitar is tilted this way and they think they're moving down the neck because they're physically moving down. But uh, we're not talking about physically. We're talking about pitch wise, right? Okay. I want you to imagine that your guitar is a parking garage or a parking deck. Every string is a layer of that parking garage, a floor, okay? You have six floors. And then the parking spots are the boxes that are created. Like all of this right here is all first fret. This is all second fret. So now I can give you a string and a fret and you can go to that parking spot, okay? String number two, fret number two. String number five, fret number three. Number five. There you go, good job. Uh, let's make it a little trickier. I'm gonna give you letter names. How about uh, the A string, first fret? That's not the A string. There you go. How about the D string, fourth fret? There you go, very good. So you're just matching a string and a fret and you find your location and that's how you kind of get around the, the neck. And then we also can communicate with each other. I can, I can give you exact directions, you can give me exact directions and as musicians and guitar players, we could talk to each other. Any questions so far? No. So far, so good. All right. 